A lot of people would call you a pop artist, you've been called R&B artist. You know, I think there's all these, you know, sort of swirling terms that especially where music is right now. You know, is genre sort of an important thing to you? You know, I'm such a huge fan of music. I love everything. I'm inspired by so many different random things, and I like to put that into my music. So when it comes to genres or labels or boxes, I just create how I'm feeling that day. I really want to dance, you'll get a pop record. You know, if I'm feeling really moody and grungy and sad, you know, you, sometimes it'll be R&B, sometimes it'll be alternative. And I think that's the exciting thing about music is that you never know what you're gonna get. I would love to hear you talk more about you know, how producing, engineering, how that sort of feeds your spirit. When I took up producing, I think at 12 years old, you know, Sis and I, we were singing all around Atlanta and there would be no producers who would take us seriously and had my computer and I started looking up on YouTube how to produce and all of that and it just kind of happened and flourished on its own. And I love building. I like love seeing something come out of nothing. I think that's why I love puzzles and Legos so much and to be able to apply it to music, which is my other favorite thing, that's really all producing is. And I have a funny story. So I was in London, right? And mind you, if I'm not all dolled up and put together whatever, I'm just in sweats, no makeup, and I see a picture of me online, I'm like, who took this? I'm just trying to go to the airport in peace. I have a love-hate relationship with social media because if we think about it, without social media, without YouTube, without covers, my sister and I would not be here. So because of that, I will always, always, always have a deep appreciation for it. So while on the subject of social media, you know, for better and worse, sort of feature of what it means to make and put out music today. Well, before your songs had to pop off, on TikTok, you know, it was YouTube and the radio and all that stuff. So no matter which generation we're in, there's always something that you want your music to like be like lit on, right? When we program our minds to think about being number one and winning all these awards, when you're creating, it really suffocates you and it stifles the process. Yes, you have to have hit songs and pop and singles or whatever. That's great, but you can't let it rule you. That's beautiful, what? <gasps> Thank you, can I have it? Thank you. <laughs> That's so nice. It looks like me, right? Wow, that looks so nice. She's so precious, I'm like a little speechless. <laughs> I, I feel like there's a way in which the sort of visual is really coming back to music. Your um, choreography is, I believe acrobatic is, is almost the word that I, I wanna say. Yes, well dance is also a way to express your freedom. And ever since I was a little girl, I loved to dance and I grew up seeing Diana Ross and Beyonce and Janet Jackson and how, Mariah Carey, how like they look like divas on the stage. I like feeling weird and alternative and then I also like feeling confident with the hand on the hip and the booty shaking. So I love to feel like a bad. Period. <laughs>